I'm good, you guys. I'm good. So, we're going to move on with a full day of eating. I just had to get some stuff off my chest. I feel so much better now, and I just feel like I'm fine. I don't know what that was, but I needed to get it out. So, let's start with the coffee of the day. I ordered a venti pike place from Starbucks with heavy cream. I'm assuming there's about four tablespoons of heavy whipping cream in here. I need to get it together and I need to start tracking because I feel like I have my food under control now after I've been struggling for about a month. I would say a month. I would say for about two weeks, but about a year and a half. Like off and on, like mental struggle, year and a half. I feel like I could accomplish something today. So I feel like I need to get busy and start doing things. Okay, so I'm actually uploading that. Sometimes you just gotta let it out. We're good and right now I'm just getting hungry. It's about three o'clock so I'm gonna go make myself some food. I wanna make it count. I don't wanna be hungry after I'm done eating it and I want to be like really low carb so I'm going to be making just some ground beef because I don't know, do I wanna make a burger or two burger patties? No, I'm just gonna do it simple. I just wanna like make it simple, just throw it in a pan. So I'm just going to cook that and I'm going to put some pink salt, maybe some seasonings, some, um, cream cheese, the third percent uh, less fat. I just like that one because it's softer. The new fun shell. I don't know how to pronounce it, but anyways, there's that. And then um, some jalapenos. I'm going to saute in the pan with the meat. And yeah, I'm just gonna scrape it all into a bowl, put some avocado and that cream cheese on it. So it'll be kind of like a jalapeno popper type ground beef bowl. So I know it's gonna fill me up. And I'm going to track everything. So I wanna see where I'm at after this meal. So that way I can kind of like figure out dinner accordingly. All right, let's do a taste test because I did try the meat and it was super spicy, so I'm kind of excited. I think that the cream cheese and the avocado will mellow it out. That's my bite. I'm using a spoon so I can get it all. Some crumbled bacon would be bomb on this. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so it's kind of echoey in here. I'm in my laundry room. <laughs> Got a new pile of laundry going on. Hi, you ready for summer already? And I'm gonna get my food together. So I just kind of like have some things that were left in the fridge that I pulled out. I entered it into my the carb manager app right now. All right, so this is what I have going on right now. This is the leftover meat that I shaved on my slicer. I kind of like put it in the freezer and then I made it a little bit, a little bit more firm and then I shaved it on my slicer. I weighed up um, this piece of green onion and then I weighed that up because I plan on eating it all with two tablespoons of butter. I went ahead and entered it in right here. For dinner, I'm doing this beef, and that weighed out to three and three quarter ounces. I'm gonna do two tablespoons of butter, seven three quarter ounces of zucchini, and that green onion was three quarters of an, or one third of an ounce, so it was like 0.33. So, and then I already have plans for chocolate. I feel pretty good right now. I don't think I'm gonna be hungry after this. It is kind of late, so, and I've been drinking a lot of uh, green tea. So it's been such a super long day. Let's get this going so I can eat dinner and then I can be done with my night. <laughs> So that's how it's looking right now. That's looking super delicious. Now I'm just gonna add the zucchini and then the last minute I'll just add the green onion. So that looks super good. I'm really happy with my leftover day today. So I've kind of just been using up stuff that's in my refrigerator and things have been working out pretty well. So I'm really excited about this. It looks really good. I'm just gonna eat this and um, yeah, drink my green tea that's over there. That baby right there. That's what I've been drinking. So I'm just gonna probably finish that tonight. Um, even though it's green tea, that's really watered down big time. So 
Don't be worried, I won't be up all night. I think some coconut minos would be perfect with this, but I ran out, so this will have to do. Hey guys, it is eight o'clock, so it's finally the end of the night. I have one more that's not in bed right now. Just finishing up his homework. It's kind of late, but he was struggling a little bit. Therefore, I was struggling a little bit. Anyway, so I finally got my chocolate. I'm just going to chill. I, my back hurts right now. I've just been like up hunching around all day, it feels like. But um, yeah, so I have my two pieces of Baker's chocolate, unsweetened. And I just put a little bit of sweetener down the bottom. This right here is um, erythritol and stevia blend. You can either get pure, I think they have Truvio, that's now non-GMO. So, um, or you can do Swerve or something like that. I just like to dip it, take a bite, dip it, take a bite, that sort of thing. Um, Lily's, I have never even tried that, but you know, it's on my list. But anyways, I'm going to chill, probably flip through YouTube or something, eat my chocolate, call it a night as soon as everybody else is done so I can actually lay down and not have to keep getting up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, today started out kind of emo, but um, I'm feeling good and I'm feeling like I'm on the right track. I'm feeling totally satisfied with the food I ate today. And yeah, I'm just really looking forward to getting things back to feeling good. And um, yeah, I think I'm on the right track. So we'll just see how it plays out. You know, you never know what's gonna happen. But thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.